Welcome to the Triton Trojan Spotlight. Uh, Jeremy Riffle, Triton Superintendent with Ron Brown, Head Varsity uh, Football Coach. Uh, we're here today just to talk a little bit about um, some updates as it, as it relates to our football program. So Ron, if you would tell us a little bit about what's going on with the program right now. I know last year coming off of an 8-4 and four season, um, obviously a lot of hopes going into this season. Tell us a little bit about where we're at and what our hope for. Well, let me tell you some of the latest news that I just got this weekend. Bo Snyder, number one preseason 1A quarterback in the state. Uh, D'Angelo, or Delano Shumpert, number one wide receiver in the state, all state. And Connor Usley, honorable mention. So we have three players that have gotten some great accolades and the season hasn't even started yet. The, awesome. Yeah, the, the boys have been working really hard throughout the summer so far. Uh, we've been going to different competitions. We went 4-1 and one down at... Uh, Earlham College, which was a great uh, time for them to get down to Earlham, check out the college experience, get them on a campus, let them know what college life can be like, uh, give them some time to do some team bonding. We also played John Glenn last night and then Tippy Valley last week, and that went great. So a lot of promising things coming up, uh, and we're just excited to get people out and uh, get ready for this fall season. Yeah, so a lot of hopes for a good season and um, just... Um, the thing I like most about it, having the opportunity to talk to your young men the other day, is just trying to continue. Football is awesome, but in the end, it's a microcosm of life. And just tr trying to talk to them about um, being men of character um, and being good teammates, mm -hmm. be, you know, representing our school corporation well, um, and all the things that come along with being part of a team. So um, over the last few years, Ron, there's been a lot of conversation about football and, and the safety and concussions and a lot of those things. And, and I know at Triton School Corporation, specifically your coaching staff and athletic department has done everything they possibly can to um, keep our kids as safe as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the things you're doing um, within the football program specifically to, to help with that? Well, one of the things that we've done is we've eliminated a large majority of the tackling throughout the uh, practice. We use uh, tackle tubes so that we can practice tackling on moving targets without using our students as targets anymore. So that stops. So for a lot of folks that have played you know, football even 10 years ago, even five, um, the practice is dramatically different. Over half the week, we spend in just our jerseys and helmets uh, because we're not taking each other to the ground. Our goal here at Triton is to get as many kids 100% uh, healthy to Friday night so that they can showcase their skills. That's our main goal. Uh, other than that, our offense leads us to uh, taking a lot of big hits out of the game. Uh, we focus on spreading the field and we focus on containing the ball and uh, you know really staying out of the middle. So that, that's helped us. Our coaches uh, purposely plan each practice so that they know what they're doing and they can work on skills and techniques. Along with that, our grounds crew has done an excellent job of watering the field and uh, getting the grass to be nice and healthy so that that can act as a cushion for our players. And that's actually another big help that a lot of schools are looking for um, to help with the safety. Now, we know that a lot of times, you know, injuries and stuff will still happen, but I feel that we have done everything that we can to make this game as safe as possible. Football right now is the safest it's ever been and all the studies that are coming out now are showing that. So a lot of things we do on the exterior to try to keep our kids safe whether that be practice regimens as you mentioned just turf safety mm -hmm. um, just making sure that our practices allow for optimal safety as well but um, we brought some equipment here so I think it's important for um, whether that be parents or community to know what are we doing with the kids equipment on those nights where they do have pads and helmets and stuff like that um, talk to us a little bit about the equipment, what's going on with that, and how that leads to a safe kid. Well, you know, I'm really proud that here at Triton, we have better equipment than a lot of the larger programs. Um, I've talked to my fellow coaches, and they're amazed at what we've been able to do with purposeful planning and financial planning over the last uh, four years to set our program up to have the best equipment possible. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to show you is our Speed Flex helmet. This is one of the top helmets on the market. Now, one of the things that they've done with this is any of you that have played football in the past, you can remember putting that helmet on and how it kind of hurt to get it on your head and that. There is a cloth and all air padding that goes around the entire head, along with a ratchet strap. The face mask has been 
put out just a little bit from the helmet to help absorb the shock. And really what it does is, by the way that the helmets have been designed, it displaces any hits that could happen to the head and it bounces it off and around the helmet. So one of the very top of the line, you'll see these on, you know, on the players on the NFL on Sunday and a lot of the college players. So I'm really blessed to have these for our players. Along with this, another five-star helmet that we have is our speed helmet. We look inside, it has a cloth padding which offers a lot of support and comfort for our players. With the design, it has helped displace a lot of pressure and momentum that is uh, put on the, the player's helmet um, and it disperses it. So that's great again for us. Another piece of that, Ron, is, is I know that the, the jawbone has been connected with a lot of the injuries mm -hmm. and the concussions and stuff like that. And you notice there's a lot lower jaw padding in those as well. So that's definitely another safety feature that goes right along with it. Yeah. I know that's been over time um, and we're kind of getting used to that now with some of the research that's mm -hmm. coming out. Um, but talk to us a little bit about the shoulder pads and, and some of the other things you have here. Well now you're going to hear me say some conflicting things here. Football over the last year, they have um, basically planned to put the hands back in the game. So instead of us coming in and laying a crushing blow with our shoulders, the uh, High School Athletic Commission has enforced blocking rules in which we need to use our hands. So we've brought the hands into the game, which helps us get the head out of the game. And that's the main purpose of this. Now with these shoulder pads that we have here, they are actually smaller than the shoulder pads that I played in, and probably most people have. But what it has done with the technology is it has, again, helped disperse a lot of the energy. So as we see, there's one flap here, and then there's another additional pad that helps cover the shoulder joint, all right? And that helps, and then there's also channels inside that help displace the power of the impact that can happen there. That's on these pads here that are very small and compact, and it's also with these series of pads. And again, they are safety um, features that have been added. There's a rip cord, so if there is some sort of injury that does happen, paramedics are able to get this off. Here at Triton, we've been lucky to not have those. And again, injuries could happen, but right now, football is the safest it's ever been. Coming up next is a little clip that we shot earlier today of one of our former students explaining the tackle tubes and actually demonstrating them so that you can see how safe it is and how easy they are to use in our everyday practice. Drew Stichter, one of our senior football players last year. Drew was all state at linebacker and tight end. Did a marvelous job for us, and we just wanted to take the time talk about some of the tactics that we've been using over the last few years to decrease contact with our players and increase our technique and form through confidence tackling. And one of the things that we use is the tackle uh, tube here, and we're going to demonstrate how we do this. Drew, over the course of the years when we did this, can you tell us how this benefited your body and how it benefited the practice throughout the year? Well, one thing is you weren't getting hit every single practice, so like just that alone takes away from the physical toll of just being pounded each practice. Um, it helps with an actual physical moving that's not a human, so like you're not getting hit, but yeah, you still get the practice of moving the body, what you'll see in an actual game. And of course, it's soft and padded, so you're never going to get hurt doing it. I think you explained it well. Well. Let's uh, take a second here and let's demonstrate. To even show how this builds confidence, even with the youngest of kids, I have my soon to go into first grader, uh, Riley Brown, out here to demonstrate. Riley, are you ready to try to tackle this? All right, here we go. And it's that easy. We're building confidence, we're taking the hitting and the head out of the game, and we're making it a safer game for everyone here at Triton. Thank you for taking a second to do that. Um, something that we're really, really proud of and I think needs highlighted is just the academic success of our scholars. Um, so we talk a lot about um, student athletes or scholar athletes as we're trying to, to change the mold here at Triton when it comes to, you know what, academics first. When a college coach calls you, they don't say, how, what's their 40, what's this, what's mm -hmm. this. They say, what kind of person are they? Yep. And now we'll have all the other conversations. So talk to us a little bit about the success that we've seen 
um, with our scholar athletes and, and what they're doing in the classroom, getting the job done there. Well, yeah, that's one of the things that I'm really proud about. Uh, over the last three years, we have had no football player become HSAA ineligible here at Triton, and that's huge. I have a lot of people ask me, well, why do you practice at night on Thursday night? Well, there's one big sole purpose that we do that. One, after school, we're able to offer study tables for any student that has a C- minus or lower. I feel that if we can be proactive and we can be positive with our student athletes and encourage them and set them up for good study habits, then they will achieve. And I am pretty confident in saying our athletes here at Triton have the highest GPAs that all year in the fall, by without a doubt, especially the athletes that are involved um, in any of my programs. They have the highest grades in the fall. And I think that has a lot to do with the teachers knowing that there is a study table that is going to be there Thursday right after school and they're able to use those resources to motivate those kids and I've had multiple teachers come down after their teaching day has been done and help out our student athletes uh, understand the material that they may not be getting in uh, the classroom and we've had quite a few uh, athletes on our team achieve some great academic successes we've had uh, academic all-states all three years over the last three years, we've had uh, Mr. Drew Stichter, uh, uh, along with um, Jeremy Jones in my first year, get nominated for Moose Krause Awards, which are very uh, highly uh, sought after. So, Matthew you know, Hefner. Matthew Hefner also. Mm -hmm. yep. 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 So, you know, a lot of good things have come about from making the switch. And it does take a little bit more time, but I think that it pays off in the long run for setting our student athletes up for academic success. We're fathers of young men. Um, elementary age yeah. kids and we know how they look up to we obviously had the opportunity to play you know sports and that type of thing and and there's there's nothing more beneficial to our, our young men our little guys than to see quality older young men um, just model what it means to be a good athlete be a great student um, but be, more importantly be um, a quality quality person quality young man and um, one of the things we're talking about um, bringing into all of our athletics is NG3. So next generation, um, just um, character, community, and change, and just bringing people in, providing our kids resources, and continue to surround them with great people who have been successful in their area of expertise, and just continue to invest in those kids, invest in us as, mm -hmm. as administrators and coaches, and just surround ourselves with, with quality people. So a lot of good things happening, a lot of good things happening within our athletic uh, department, trying to continue to improve every day. Um, and we just wanted to give you a little highlight of what that looks like. So anything else you want to add, Ron? Yeah, uh, team camp is going to start next week. It goes from 4 to 6.30. Uh, if your student athlete has not been out yet, I encourage them to come out. And then also July 31st, or actually July 30th is the first day that we're going to have uh, football practice official in the state. So if you would like your student athlete to participate, email me, get a hold of me. They're welcome all the way up through the start of school. I understand that a lot of our younger kids may not have rides. We understand that. But we would like to have the opportunity to pour into them and to help them start their, uh, their high school career off right. Awesome. I'm hearing a lot of reports of people having opportunities to go to other schools and they want to come back to Triton. Um, I truly believe we offer something different. I truly believe we're going to try to continue to be, um, as I've uh, sent out there, uncommon. Um, and how we do things. And I think uncommon starts with building relationships um, and caring more than other people. So um, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your coaching staff. Um, we'll be back um, hopefully with another highlight from one of our other um, teams or clubs um, here real soon. But not only are we building buildings um, together, but we're, we're building people together. So um, I want to thank our community for your support, your continued encouragement as we continue to build something great together.